creepiest pets you can actually own. Hey everyone, welcome back to Taltanic. I'm your host, Alexa. Most people are cat or dog people, but for the more adventurous of us, there are plenty of weird pets out there. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell for new content every single day. Before we actually get into today's video, I own one of these weird pets. Can you guess which one it is? That answer coming up later. Hissing cockroaches. Most people spend their lives trying to keep cockroaches out of their house, but perhaps you will find a special place in your heart for this variety. The Madagascar hissing cockroach is a far more gentle version of the drain lurking variety. They don't fly or run very fast. They grow to about two to three inches and are sturdy enough to handle. They are low maintenance and eat vegetables, plus they hiss like most creepy things. Ladybugs. We wish upon ladybugs, set them free with childhood songs, but little did you know these lucky charms won't bat an eyelid to eat a friend when food is scarce. Yep, the garden variety ladybug is a cruel and cannibalistic survival machine feasting on vulnerable newborns or freshly molted friends. Sorry for ruining the childhood fantasy. Large constrictor snakes. If your main reason for not taking home an anaconda was a fear of being strangled by it, you can rest easy as these scaly pets kill less than one person a year in the US. So unless you attract bad luck like a magnet, you can legally own a Burmese, African rock, or reticulated python, an anaconda, or a boa restrictor. However, don't think of your snake as a security guard against intruders, as all 10 victims recorded from 1990 to 2000 in the US were the owners or their families. Giant African land snail. Well, this is a pet that won't get away, not quickly anyway. Plus essentially they live in their own mobile home, so housing is hardly an issue. Sure, it'll never express its feelings with eyebrows the way a dog can or wag its tail for you, but perhaps you are looking for a low maintenance pet and you've found it in the giant African land snail. Starfish. Oh, the wonder of starfish. They have a certain elevated status among the rock-sucking sea family. Until you know this about them, these celestial-shaped beauties have the strange dinnertime habit of prying open a shellfish, ejecting their own stomach out of their mouth into their main meal's shell, digesting the animal, and then sliding their stomach back into their own body before licking their lips and sliding away. Mantis shrimp. The mantis shrimp looks almost regal, but they are actually about as creepy as it comes. Don't be confused by these colorful critters. They will kill and eat anyone who crosses their path. They are loners for life, and with their aggressive nature, they don't make friends. Any creature you put in the tank will be hunted down. They are so strong, they can crack aquarium glass. So go acrylic if you plan to house one. Slow Loris. It's always the cute ones that you don't expect creepy things from, and nothing is cuter than the slow loris. They are one of only a few poisonous mammals, and they don't get bigger than 15 inches long. These slow movers have adapted a novel way to stay safe. The brachial gland in the upper arm excretes a toxic secretion. So when threatened, the loris licks the secretion and then bites their attacker, which sinks the poison straight into the wound. It causes a severe allergic reaction in other mammals. Margays. These are truly copycats. They mimic the cries of their intended prey to lure them and then attack. Pretty wild and kind of evil, and they are the first documented case of a cat using this kind of vocal copycatting as a hunting method. You'll find them in the Amazon rainforest. Let's just hope they haven't learned to imitate humans. Giant millipede. If the pitter-patter of cats and dogs paws don't do it for you, why not try the African giant millipede? If nothing says welcome home like one to 400 legs loping towards you after a long day at the office, then pick up a giant millipede from the pet shop. They're pretty non-fussy. Alligator. Only in Florida. Rambo is the pet alligator to Mary Thorne, and Rambo lives the high life. From designer outfits to vacations, this scary gator has fallen into the right household. You might even spot Rambo taking a ride with Mary on her motorcycle. Rambo, however, is not the first alligator to become a rather creepy choice of pet. Emperor Scorpion. Let's cut to the chase. The coolest thing about this totally legal pet is that under a UV light shines greenish blue. It's amazing for a tank installation at your home as the display value is just striking. 
On the technical side, the emperor scorpion can live six to eight years, and it reaches eight inches. Its tail is harmless, except that they might use it when they're still young. They do use their pincers to defend themselves and hunt. Tarantula Tarantulae were popular in the 80s and 90s as an edgy display item, but are still a popular choice as pets for many people who like tank setups. They're really low maintenance, quiet, and not very needy when it comes to affection. Rats These sewer slickers, bin rummaging, disease spreaders have an awful reputation, but really they are more hygienic and intelligent than a lot of people give them credit for. Rats are even being trained to detect landmines in Africa to have them removed safely in previously war-torn regions. They genuinely enjoy the interaction with humans and have loads of personality. Skunks Few things are worse than getting skunked. The smell lingers with you for days, but more and more people across the US are opting in to keep these wild critters as pets inside their homes. Luckily, the ones you get at a pet shop have their scent glands removed, but you will still have to potty train a skunk as they can't be let outdoors or they'll take off for good. You can take the skunk from the wild, but you can't take the wild from the skunk. Frogs Frogs come in all shapes and sizes, from tiny tree frogs to giant, warty bullfrogs. You can take your pick as they're available at most pet stores, but caring for them is an art. Their environment must be very regulated in terms of humidity and temperature, but if you look after them, they will bless you with their beautiful frog song. Well, some of them. Stick insect. Did your parents ever tell you to go play with a stick? Well, this creepy pet gives that a whole new meaning. Stick insects are pretty low maintenance and breed like, well, stick insects, which means really well. If you have a mating pair, your insect colony could branch out pretty quickly. Lizards Lizards can be great pets but are more of a display pet than a companion as they aren't exactly going to heap affection on you. Like frogs, they require a very specific tank setup requiring a stable tank environment and a good diet. But if you look after your lizard, oh, you know what, no, he still probably won't do much for you. The axolotl. This lizard fish, or fish lizard, is the axolotl salamander. Even though it looks complicated, it is pretty low maintenance, as long as you don't touch its sensitive skin. Beware of putting him with other salamanders because he could eat them, and in rare cases can even transform into a terrestrial animal and live on land. Hippos Billy the hippo lived the high life, traveling from the plains of Liberia from where he was plucked as a baby by U.S. tire manufacturer Harvey Firestone. After gaining some weight and losing his cute, cuddly appeal, Firestone passed him on to the U.S. president at the time, President Coolidge, who placed him in the National Zoo in Washington. Billy sired 23 calves in his 28 years in the U.S. Okay, that's a ton of really creepy pets so far, and we still have one more to go. But before we get there, I think I owe you guys an answer. I actually own a lizard. He's an eyelash-crested gecko, and he's amazing. But would you guys ever own any of these strange pets? If you would, let me know in the comments down below. 1. Freshwater Stingray The Matoro Stingray is a showstopper in any aquarium, but beware its sting. This strikingly spotted ray is one of the few rays that will survive in captivity, but plan ahead for its growth because it can reach three feet. It needs a big aquarium. It does spend a lot of its life covered by sand with just its eyes sticking out, so if you don't spot it right away, don't think it's gone missing. 